unlike let's say web surfing, mm -hmm. is is a relatively uh, contained number of big providers. Uh, so you, you won't have you know millions of, of online game hosting companies. Uh, there'll be there'll be a, a relatively small set of successful companies uh, that that matter in volume. You know, there'll always be smaller you know, here and there, but that have of any substance of volume, just because of the nature of gaming, right? The game is either popular or it's not. Yeah. Uh, and whereas a web server, everyone can have one. It doesn't matter if it's popular or not, you're sure everyone can have one. Uh, so, the what, you know, I think when, when we see the NCSoft video, and when, when we talk um, more specifically about the games here, it should give you an idea of how, I think, how people are using it. Uh, when the server and our products sit for, for the gaming environment, and uh, are you bringing it up right now? I will. Yeah, keep going. Okay. Ahead. One of the interesting things is, uh, I think I would add one more dimension of this. We're talking a lot about the server and the and the the hosting on the back end of the game. Um, one of the reasons I think that people are finding Microsoft a pretty good solution here is the the, the, the tools to write some of the games. Visual Studio allow you to write software pretty efficiently and often faster than most other models uh, and then deploy that quickly to Windows Server. So when you think about the cycle of software development, which is, you know, software development isn't write code, then put it on server, and then you're done. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's completely iterative. You're going, you're, you're finding problems, you're patching and going back and forth. So reducing time in that total cycle is really critical. Uh, and so I think if people, even if they looked at, let's say, Linux and Windows equally, Mm -hmm. as, as from a hosting perspective, I think when we add in, you know, the other capabilities of Visual Studio, SQL, and other Active Directory, and other tools that we have, and our management tools, I think that's when people start seeing, okay, all this together is, is, is a better solution than just a single uh, hosting option. And if, if I may add, um, not just actually the developers using the Visual Studio and the .NET, you know, all the developer tools of Microsoft, even us, the publishers, when we have to create our own tools internally to help our marketing people, our customer support brand. We start developing all these tools as well on, on Microsoft, which makes, which makes it easier for us to provide the necessary tools for our productivity of the gamers, right? Or, sorry, for our, our employees so that we can support the product better. So it's an end-to-end. -end. It's not just the Windows platform and the whole thing on the back end. Yeah. The development tools by the developers for the game applications and the game clients, as well as the publishers, the tools that they develop, to support the publishing and the, the, the delivery of content to the market. Mm -hmm. and the whole mm -hmm. content solution is the Microsoft is able to provide. What was you started off with uh, Linux and uh, Microsoft? Right? We had some systems on Linux, um, and we, we realized that it's not just, normally most people look at Linux, it's pretty good, right, right, off the shelf, mm -hmm. start, right? so they go Linux and then they'll go Microsoft and stuff like that. But once they start realizing that we have to manage the these tools or these development applications that you did, it becomes, you start to realize that it becomes easier to manage than um, running it on a, on a Microsoft platform. So if you look at it from a total cost of ownership perspective, your initial might appear to be cheaper if you do it on Linux, right? Mm -hmm. But if you start factoring in all the productivity tools, you know, how people become more efficient, able to work faster, able to develop tools faster, and support these tools, then you get to realize that you have a better advantage if you start running all the systems in the Microsoft platform. So when did you start uh, running the whole uh, um, system Microsoft? Should have been during my Microsoft days there. Uh, probably a couple of, maybe 10 months already okay. running through it. And we're slowly moving. And the next step is actually also to move our own email system mm -hmm. internally to move it to Exchange 2007. And there's a lot more. Some of our web tools are slowly moving out. So you're saying that for uh, level up, it's, uh, it's a question of uh, cost and uh, scalability, or cost, scalability, time to market, uh -huh. to, uh, to manage them as well. And it's easier for me to manage you guys with the same skill set, right? Of course, with the support of Microsoft, to make sure that they're on the run and they have the right tools and training to use. So, Bill. Um, <coughs> Um, considering that Level Up is just one of the, I suppose one of the uh, game publishers in the Philippines that are that's shifting from from open source to to Microsoft. Well, I mean, is it common among uh, publishers in the Philippines that they're currently using Linux, but they're looking at also migrating to to Windows or to to Microsoft? 
Yeah, I, I, I can, I can give you a, a, an opinion. I haven't gone and talked to every game publisher. I think most people are always evaluating technology options, uh, and then at certain times, either for a new game or a new system, or maybe a new relationship. Say there's a new developer that they're going to be working with, um, or a new hoster. Or whatever. I think those sort of big projects uh, are when people kind of also look deeply at, at the technology options. Um, I also, you mentioned something else that I think it's important to separate. We, we, with the trend that I see are people leaving Linux servers for Windows servers. Um, I still see a lot of people using open source software. Uh, they might use open source software on Windows. As a matter of fact, one of the things that I've seen in three years is most of the major open source software runs on Windows and often runs on it first, um, which I think is interesting too in, in, in its own in its own right. Uh, but what what I you know this is I've been using Linux servers for 14 years now, um, and I run a large lab in, in Red with lots of Linux and Unix systems. And uh, what I think what people are finding is there's a good there's a use for Linux, but it's not it, it's not as useful for all things as, as it may have originally been thought of. Uh, and so we saw a lot of migrations from uh, proprietary Unix to Linux over the past you know, six, seven years, maybe 10 years. Uh, but we, but Microsoft, we haven't lost, like most people are moving from Windows servers to Linux servers. Most of it is from Unix servers to Linux servers. Uh, and so <clears throat> what we're seeing is, is we bring in the, um, the variety of things that Pat mentioned that help a customer reduce time to market, manage the whole picture, not just can you serve something over a port, which is you know, sort of the model on, on, the, on when you're hosting on Linux and you're going to build or go download or, or, or buy all these other things to bolt on uh, to the system. When we bring all that into the pictures, when I think the value proposition for us is, is much stronger. Uh, and so the, you know, you just, just take some of the fundamentals that you get with Windows Server out of the box, um, you know, getting a directory server, getting all these different services and, and manage the tools, um, and then layering on our, our, our other products. I think that's where it becomes pretty compelling. Uh, so I, I do think that although people answer your question, I think people evaluate technology at different intervals and in and, and, and a, and a bit of a constant cadence as well. Uh, there's always this you know, investigation. Um, I think that there's an interesting and, and growing trend of, of Windows servers and the Microsoft software ecosystem in gaming environments. Um, and I, again, I, I've worked with a lot of gaming publishers internationally. Uh, and I've seen how people have used, have used both Linux and Windows in these environments. I've seen the software that people have written on top. Uh, like Pet said, not just the game engines themselves, but all the other things you need to, to run a particularly a massively multiplayer online gaming environment. Because um, it's not just the game engine. There's a lot of other stuff that happens. There's security and, there, and authentication systems, payment systems. Um, and when, when I think the most publishers of, who are getting of a certain size are looking at that total picture and saying, I need technology to solve all these problems, not just one. Uh, and and I, I that's where our, our value process is very strong. 